YouTube. I'm not sure if I've given y'all a video of this before. But anyway, this is Scott. Surround sound in here. The handle for that is gone, but the TV signals pick up great. I have a TV up front here, and it does work good. Um, the only thing I wish is that I can find some new curtains. Um, some of the hooks, when we took the curtains down to wash them, ended up missing. I have not been able to find those types of old hooks. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you that... Okay, there is an ear purifier in here. you got to have it. Um, this is Buddy's cage when he's inside the house. Uh, this, Zeus is in his right now. Um, <coughs> Zeus, stop. So that's Zeus. And, uh, well, he just ate all of his food I just gave him. Boy, I'll tell you. He's getting antsy, so soon we're going to have to get him out of there. Um, but then I've got some storage stuff in the back seat, dog pads. But this is basically the dog's area. They, I do let them out. Do not think that I don't let the dogs out, because I do. They are walked four times a day, two of them. That's what's wearing me out. When the cat is not in the house, they are out of their cages. So... They're not locked up 24-7. They do sleep in their cages, and they are in there some during the day. If I have to clean, or I have to go somewhere, or I have to do something. So that's the purpose in these cages. So there is a chair there. That needs to go out of my car. Um, let me stand back here so that you can see better. All right, Zeus, hush. So, y'all, here's what I did. I bought these really nice... 10 inch mattresses. Let me show you. So, did you see how thick that mattress is? And they're twin size. And I bought them for the back bedroom. But, they take bunk mattresses back there, which really stinks. Um, so, I had to end up selling one of these to my friend. And I kept this one and put it out here because this is where I sleep. I enjoy sleeping out here. My dogs are right there. You know, I got everything I need. Um, I say my table is a little messy, but I have my table with my drinks. And you can see Bob Wells on TV. Um, I use this TV because it's a smart TV and I get all my apps, my Netflix, my Hulu, my YouTube. This TV up here works great, but it, it's not a smart TV. Although it does have a Blu-ray DVD up there, and as I said, surround sound. So then we have got another chair, and this these chairs swivel, the recliners, and you know that's a, two people could sit there. Zeus could sit there and eat, use the table, whatever. But basically, I'm using this for my bedroom. Because I like it out here. I have everything I need. My table, my TV, and I have, let me show you, this beautiful view. Let me show you. From my window. I have this beautiful view where I can see all the way up to the office. I can see the water. Um, I just have a lovely view right there. So I can sit on my bed and I can watch the water. Y'all, when it's windy or it's raining, you can see the water move. And it's just so relaxing. So like I said, I love this as my bedroom. I got my heating pad, my bunch of pillows as you can see. Very comfortable. So, now I'll turn around this way. And, you know, 
Oh, I didn't show you. So let me show you. I've got cabinets all up here. And these cabinets have a light in them. They light up. As well as has uh, LED lights underneath, weighing all underneath here. And at night, it's so pretty. So these are all the cabinets. Like I said, this is the kitchen. Seating. Um, front door. What I don't like, and let me see if I can get a view of it, is them stairs. You cannot keep them things clean, for one. I need another doorknob handle because my neighbor over there somehow broke it off. Don't know how. And I've been looking for one, and because of the year of this RV, it's going to be hard to find. So, I just want to show you. Oh my god. Okay. Zeus. So then on this side of my bedroom, I have all these cabinets. So y'all, tons of cabinets. I got hooks up here for the dogs, chains, glass water. I mean, you know, that's my little night light there and it's got candle wax in it and you burn it. It smells nice. But, and let me show y'all this. So for extra counter space. That comes up. I don't know if I can keep that dog quiet. I should have put him outside in his pen. Um, Zeus, I'm going to put you out in a second. So, I still got that little Christmas tree from Christmas. Zeus! Okay. So, anyway, this is a picture of my four daughters. The one to the far right in the tank top. She is the one that passed away. This is her, across my daughter made with her picture on it and her little urn that I keep um, in her AA chip. And that's, like I said, the little urn I keep. My other daughter keeps the big urn. I didn't really want to have it with me. Um, but, as you can see, and I do have a detector y'all but I put it down there because up there all it wanted to do up there all it wanted to do was go off that's my little heater I use that in the winter months and uh y'all it works great heats well now I do have another little heater back in the back bedroom in case it gets real cold but I have a nice faucet I have big double kitchen sinks as you can see um, nice stove, oven, nice big microwave, let me show you how big this is, see how, that is just a huge microwave, y'all, so, then, uh, let me show you, this thing up here is a built-in dehumidifier, Y'all, it's great because you really need that in these vehicles. Um, let me show you how it works. Let's see if it won't make no noise. Let's see. Well, let me turn it to auto. Huh. Well, y'all, okay. I shut it off. It's quiet today. Normally, it makes a noise when I first kick it on. But today, it's being nice and quiet. I wasn't sure if I had done a thing of my a tour of my RV. It's kind of hard because it's not real wide, but it's real long. But y'all look, this is my refrigerator, and I'm not opening it because I gotta clean it. But it is a full size whirlpool. So much room. That's what I love about this. Then here, I have got a pantry and a huge closet. The double doors right there is a huge closet. There's a drawer in there. Um, let me slide the pantry out. I'll stand back and show you. So, y'all, that's the pantry. So, you can see that this thing has lots of room. Then up here, let me slide this out. You have got up top 
a slide out drawer. That's pretty much where I keep my flour and my cornmeal mix and you know, onions, whatnot. So, let me show you here. Okay. This, well, I gotta stand back because it's dark. That's the bathroom door. It does, I have it latched right now. And I have my bunch of stuff hanging on it. But it does close. But y'all, this, oh, I didn't show you this, which is a great, this is a full length mirror. Full length. Wonderful. This is a really nice camper. I wish I had put a sheet over my couch prior to putting that mattress up there. Because now I'm tucking two pillowcases over just to keep the edge of the couch fairly clean. Um, I do wish that it had a slide out. I wish that it was wider. But it has everything I need. The AC out here does work. Um, and this is the bathroom. I have a cabinet up here. I have a fan vent. Towel rack. Toilet paper holder. It's even got a sprayer, y'all, to clean the toilet with. Now, this toilet is not plastic. Hear it? Porcelain. Just like you have in your house. Regular size toilet. It is a regular porcelain toilet. And I do need to drain my tank. I'm afraid to flush it. It might bubble back because I've not drained my tank. Well, it didn't do too bad. But anyway, as you can see, it flushes. And it fills back up with water. If it doesn't have enough water, it has a foot pedal. Just push the foot pedal up. You see the water? Nice toilet. Even takes a regular size tank cover. Uh, the trusty baby wipes, of course. You know, we all keep those, y'all. Um, but then, I have got my sink. Um, it's got, you know, let me get out of the way. It's got a big medicine cabinet. It's got, I've got my sink here. It's got another big cabinet down there. Y'all, I'm not a, a fan of the carpet, but, well. Okay, so this is the shower. It has a big high skylight, which needs to be replaced. Um, I've had to kind of doctor it up outside. It, it needs replacing. Um, like I said, the RV's not perfect. It needs some work. Um... But it's kind of like a, let me get over here if I can. It does have a wide, deep bathtub. And you can't stretch all the way out in it, but you can take a bath in it. And then you've got your corner. It's even got a light in the shower, y'all. And you got your corner things, like just like a normal house, you know. Now, I always keep my shower head down here because I switch shower heads. The other one will hook up top here. But, like I said, I just change shower heads. Um, I may change back. I don't know. But, anyway, moving right along now, it's going to get a little dark back here. Um, let me see if I can turn on some light. This, y'all, is my junk room. And this is the room that needs work. It's the only part of the RV that needs some help. Um, but it does have lots of cabinets. All the way around the top of the room. Now, because of the hurricane and the roof leaking, there was some damage. In the corner right there, you can see it, kind of. Um, i got to take that out. It's just right there in the corners. So that's got to come out and be replaced. This corner over here has also got to come out and be replaced. Uh, I did, I believe I stopped all the leaks. 
Um, I haven't really even cleaned back here much because I got to do work to it. Um, like this. This needs scrubbing really bad. Um, when I get the walls fixed, I will paint. Uh, so basically I'm using it as a junk room. Um, my granddaughter, she comes to stay every now and then. So she ain't long ago been here, so that's made her a bed there. I have to now order a bunk mattress. But this does have memory foam on it, y'all. So, um, my jewelry stuff, my vacuum broom, another AC in case somebody's back here in this back bedroom and it does get hot. Well, they got an AC. This is one of the closets. It's got a closet like that on both sides of the room. You got this, this slides out farther, y'all, but you can set your TV on this, your laptop, you know, right, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, this is an exit window, as you can see. Um, it's got a middle thing here, and I got my laundry basket in the middle. Um, those are all clean. I got to put them up. You see the cat has taken up on the table. But this is basically a cat's room slash storage room right now until I get it fixed. So, those are a whole bag of sheets and blankets that came with the RV. I got my fold-out table. This is the new skylight that is going to go. It's got the blackout shade. It's going to go up here where this AC was. The AC doesn't... I, probably nothing major wrong with it. It comes on. It just hums. So it's probably clogged up. But y'all, I'm just going to take it out and put this vent in. Because um, I really don't need it. The paper towels. My comb in case I run out of propane. And all this stuff right here that I need to put up. But anyway, the reason I've not put this up is because I have work to do back here first. So... This is all my roofing stuff, which I'm fixing to have to get back on that roof. And this stuff has got to go outside underneath the cubby. But here's me some drawers. I got some drawers right here that I need to clean, as you can tell. As I said, this is storage slash slop room right now. But right there's the drawers. So you got two drawers there. Um... You got another cabinet right here where I keep my clothes, my change. Um, so, y'all, you got quite a bit of room. Um, let me show you. And then for privacy, you've got this sliding by the door. So, it's really nice. It's got, you know, your TV hookup right there. So, when I get this room fixed and painted and cleaned up, um, it'd be really nice, because this right here is really the only part of the RV that there's anything wrong with. Here's a big problem. Right up in there. That is where the real damage is. That's all got to come out. It's right, just right there in that corner. And it's, it, like I said, it's all got to come out. And be replaced. Um... And treated for mold and mildew. So, do his work. This corner over here, y'all, it did leak. It did leak down here, but it is not as bad. Not The ceiling's not as bad. As a matter of fact, you could clean it in, uh, with some bleach and uh, wash it up, and, and it'd be fine. Probably wouldn't even have to replace anything in there, really. So, <clears throat> like I said, this room here <sighs> really does need work. As soon as I can get the corners done and the inside of the cabinet done, I can paint it. I can clean it up. Um, I'm going to put a mat regular mattress over here, but y'all, I'm not going to put another mattress over here. Because I like the idea of my drawers being able to be there and have storage. I was thinking about closing it in and making just one big closet. And I'd have a light in the closet because there's a light right there. So I was thinking about making one big closet. 
The only problem with that is it would be kind of hard to access my tanks underneath there if, God forbid, something happened. Um, I'd have to go in the closet, lift it up, which is not impossible, don't get me wrong. But I'd have to go in the closet, lift it up, get under there, and it would just, I don't know. It's a great idea, but I just don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to have to get the other dog in and put the other dog out. Um, the bathroom, you know, it needs painted. It's not, it's not perfect. Like I said, that skylight's got to be replaced. Um, that AC light there's going to be replaced with the skylight. Um, so, there, like I said, there is work to be done in the back bedroom. Um, and in the skylight. But y'all, this could be made into a really nice home for someone. I mean, I do love the fact that it is no different than being in a house. You know, you pretty well have a home. You know, um, as opposed to in a van, you're not, you know, you have more.